a few years ago, I was asked by several of the banger lads running old cars how to wire it up. You know, well, they didn't actually ask me, they asked everyone, you know. So I thought I'd do this video, it might be helpful. Well, it, people have found it very helpful, but of course today we can do it a lot better. The camera works awful on that one, and uh, it's too long. So anyway, we're assuming that it's negative earth, all right? It doesn't matter which, but we're assuming it's negative earth. So, you take a, a wire from the positive to a switch and then from the switch to the SW or plus on your coil. Then you take another wire from the negative which runs to the ground or the negative on your point of course. And then it goes through a condenser back to your points. I'll show you this in a little bit more detail. Then it goes from there to the negative or CB side of your coil. And that's all there is to it. So what I'll do now, I'll just show you it works. And what I've done is, if I can get past the tripod and things, I'm not going to make this too long, but just to show you for a bit of interest if you want. And I'll tell you again at the end. So that's a negative terminal, and that's the positive terminal. Make sure they don't touch. They nearly are. I wonder if I can put that upside down, if it'll work without being in the way. Like that, maybe. Try that. Yeah, there we are. Right. You switch it on, right? I put a light so that you can just see it switched on. And then when the points open, like that, what happens is it's a switch. All it is is a switch. Joined together with the condenser so you don't get too much bigger spark. The coil collapses on the the primary collapses onto the secondary and you get a lot of voltage to a spark. That's it. And that's how it works. It's very simple. And I think I've explained it a bit better this time. So what I'm going to do is just now I can do my camera work a lot better because I'm on a tripod, you see. So it should be steady. So there's your light and switch look. I'm sure you can see that. So there's your switch. And as I say, I put a light on just to show it. And that's how the points are. That's how they're wired. You've got through an insulator, you see, there, you've got, so when the points are open, that doesn't touch, right? Doesn't connect, see? And they're open like that, and then the curtain goes around and closed. There we go. And it makes the circuit, right? So it's just another switch. And just let's see if I can uh, I'll put the spark plug on it. There we are. Now, it's quite a bright day, but uh, if I operate this switch, yes. You can see a spark. In fact, I think I can get a little closer. And you should see. Yeah, there you are, look. So you can see that what I said is right. Anyway, I'll just whiz round it again. I don't want to make this very long video. As I said, the other one was too long. So I'll just whiz round it again. And I'll take these off. Just so it's clear. I'll get a pointer so I'm handing it away. You go from positive to a switch, from switch to SW or positive on your coil. From your negative, you go through a condenser to the contact on your contact breaker points. And then you go from your contact breaker points to the CB or negative on the coil. 
and that's it it's um it's as simple as that and just to finish off occasionally because someone asked me this question that's all a coil is what they call a ballast resistor some are built in and some aren't but what it is to make it better for starting they use a six volt coil and they run it on the 12 volt system through a resistor and the switch is on your starter switch it's got two positions this one's got two positions but this isn't right but I can show you on this so what you do when you turn the key to start it there's two live wires that go to your coil one goes straight to your coil so you're running a 6 volt coil on a 12 volt system so you turn the starter to start it like that and it goes straight to the coil but then when you let your hand off the key and it's started it swaps over to a another wire that goes through the resistor to the coil so I hope that's clear enough for you right I hope you've enjoyed this and you can see it a little better I'll uh, put a link up put this link up on the other video as well so hopefully it'll help someone